Now, tropical storm Elsa is sweeping through the northern Caribbean, battering Jamaica and Cuba with winds and rain. The storm has claimed at least three lives so far. As it churned towards eastern Cuba, strong winds and heavy rain lashed the Caribbean nation, located where the northern Caribbean Sea, Gulf of Mexico and the Atlantic Ocean meet. Elsa downgraded from a hurricane status, yet flooding, mudslides and damaging gusts are expected as the storm still remains powerful. Elsa's center was near eastern Cuba. The U.S. National Hurricane Center reported maximum sustained winds were near 60 miles per hour with higher gusts. The storm will bring 5 to 10 inches of rain to Cuba, with some spots getting up to 15 inches. It's now creeping north towards the United States. Miami-based NHC warned that rain may lead to scattering, flash flooding and mudslides, some of which could be significant. Elsa was forecast to head towards the Florida Straits on Monday and then move near the portions of the west coast of Florida on Tuesday and Wednesday. This forecast suggests strong winds could potentially enter the area later today. But for now, at the very least, uh, the potential for some wind gusts to o over 40 miles an hour with some of these showers that will be increasing during the day tomorrow as well as on Tuesday. Now, as we also have the threat of heavy rainfall, which could, could cause some localized flooding. And again, that time frame is also for Monday and Tuesday. And high waves hit the coast of Dominican Republic's capital, Santo Domingo, leaving two people dead. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.